Hello guys, today we will learn how to install and set up our dev environment for Java programming. There are multiple IDs available, but the most popular one is, and the one I like to personally use is IntelliJ, which is a product of JetBrain. They also have other IDs available as well, like PyCharm for Python development, which I also use, and I'm going to have a separate video on setting up Python development environment as well. All right, first thing we're gonna do is search for IntelliJ in Google, and we can head over to JetBrain's website. Uh, three operating systems available, Linux, Mac, and Windows. Since I'm on Windows, I'm going to download the Windows version. And the community version is pretty good. It has pretty much all the features that we need. And it is free. So let's download this. Next, we're going to install. You can install it anywhere you want. I'm just going to install it in the default location. I'm going to, I don't need the shortcut. I'm going to associate these files, Java and Groovy. I don't need to add it to my path. Okay, so we're done with this. Let's run this. We're going to confirm this. Uh, I don't want to send any data to them. So here we have our IDE set up. So we can start our new project. So before we proceed further with this, let's install JDK, which stands for Java Development Kit, and it allows us to run Java applications. It comes packaged with the Java language and a Java virtual machine. Currently, I have JDK 15 installed, which it picked up but let's install a new version of JDK. Okay, let's head over to Oracle website to install uh, the JDK. So we can just type in Oracle JDK and we can go to Java downloads. So the latest version that we currently have is Java 19. Let's just install this. So I'm on Windows operating system. I'm going to switch over to Windows and we can just install the 64-bit installer. And if you want to install a previous version of Java as well, we can go to Java archives. And we have these old versions as well. So we can install 18. If we want to install 17, we can, you know, pick up the Windows installer or Mac or Linux. Okay, so we have this JDK installed. We are going to go next. I'm going to install it in the default program file location. All right, that's it. So now we can head over here. We can go to JDK. You can click on this. We can do add JDK. We can go to program files where we installed it. We can go to Java and we have our JDK here. So we can just click on this. And let's call our test project, hello world. Advanced settings, we can leave as blank. All right, so we're going to create this. So we have our main file here. With the hello world already and let's run this there you go so our ide is set up which is using jdk19 as well now if you want to change the font size or the theme you can go to files settings uh appearance so we have the theme dracula we can change it to intellij light let's just do that you can do okay if you want to change the text size we can go to editor Go to font. We can change this to let's say maybe um, I don't know 18. Let's make it bigger. Okay. And if you want to install uh, plugins as well, we can install different plugins. So we have the Scala plugin, which is also a JVM language as well. It's a functional language. So one of the plugin, let's say that we want to install and that I like to install is Rainbow Brackets, uh, which basically allows us to you know have different. Uh, colors for parentheses. And let's just restart our IDE. So if I'm going to have different show text, I can have different parentheses color, basically. So this is pretty much it in setting up Java development environment. Now, without IDE, software development for a large-scale project would be almost impossible. These IDEs are very powerful. They have IntelliSense, which helps autocomplete code and makes debugging really easy. Now, I'm going to have a separate video detailing on how to debug in IntelliJ. And hopefully this helped you guys, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.